Welcome to the feature series called Swarms, which has the American toads and eastern gray tree frogs battling the banded crickets for the second part of this epic encounter. Starting off the video from exactly where we left off the last time, here you can see Wellsboro, the golden toad. He has actually got yellowish pigments on his skin that make him stand out from all the other American toads. And accompanying him as being one of the dominant hunters inside the enclosure, once again we see Ace, who was one of the main features of the last part in the Swarms battle. She is continuing her dominance over all of the banded crickets, along with Wellsboro, who you can see here. Wellsboro is one of the more active hunters. He's very strong, you can see his back legs, as well as on his sides, the muscle that he possesses. Even though he has so much more muscle than the other toads, Ace has such a higher metabolism than he does. Just as I started recording, Christian, who is the other cover animal along with Ace, began to start shedding. This is a very good sign, usually. It can also be a problem if it continues to happen. But for Christian, he had just eaten some crickets the night before. And whenever he was shedding, that shows me that he was growing. Probably the most important part of the swarms battles from the first part of this series, Bane, the male gray tree frog, decided he was going to sit this specific night out while everybody else was hunting. Like I said in the first video, Bane had his fill from the very first swarms battle. He gorged himself full, and he also had shed, but I wasn't able to get it on camera. So Bane is going to sit this round out. Here we continue to see one of the most incredible things that I have documented on this channel is Christian, the eastern gray tree frog, continuing to shed. As he is shedding, I wanted to show something new inside the enclosure that had not been documented before. Here we can see the two other American toads that accompany Wellsboro, the golden toad, and Ace, the dominant female. Is Belmont, the one-eyed toad, and Pius, the male American toad. Pius is significant because he's lived with Ace for over a year now in captivity. Pius is a very dominant hunter in his own right, and he's very muscular. Actually, he is the same age as Ace, and he's continued to grow the same size that she has. This is an interesting trait for him, because usually, male American toads start to top out after a year of growth. They start to grow much slower than the females, so for him to continue to keep pace with Ace is something very astounding, and could mean that he's very strong and would produce very great genes should the two reproduce. The other two that will be introduced to the next tank that I build in the 75 gallon setup is Belmont, who you can see on the right with one eye, along with Wellsboro. Ace and Pius have a special bond, so trying to establish a special bond between Belmont and Wellsboro is going to be interesting. While all of these toads are much bigger than Belmont currently, she is going to get to the second largest, if not the largest, along with Ace, as the American toad females grow the largest out of all the inhabitants inside the enclosure. You can already see from a young age how high her metabolism is and how voracious her appetite is. One thing I was not able to videotape was her consuming a very large earthworm. She outcompeted all of the other American toads for this worm, she actually boxed them out like a basketball player trying to get a rebound. Here we see something that was also one of the most interesting things on this channel. This is Christian, the gray tree frog that was just shedding. I threw the banded crickets in his autumn sedum, and he stopped shedding. Mid-shed, he just stops. This has been something I've never seen a frog or a toad do, but he was interested. Like I've said before, He's a very feisty little frog. For the first two parts in the swarm series, and how I normally feed my animals, meaning the two species inside the enclosure, it usually would take around 200 banded crickets every two weeks to feed these animals and make sure that they're comfortable. 